Hello everyone. If you're new here, I am Morgan Green from the Three Anglers and I am going to be doing some brown trout fishing. Hopefully I'm going to hook into some steelhead if they're in the river. Maybe there might be some lake run browns too, so stay tuned. Today I am using a silver and purple Indiana bladed spinner, size 8 treble hook. And then I have a 6 inch lead with monofilament and there's a barrel swivel to eliminate line twist. It is um, mid, or actually late October and I'm in a creek in northern Michigan. I usually do quite well here with brown trout, resident browns. And I know there are lake run brown trout in here this time of year. So I'm gonna hammer it hard today and hopefully I can hook into one. It is unseasonably cold for this time of year. Usually it's like low 60s for highs and 40s at night. But today it's mid 40s for high and 30s at night so it's gonna be kind of cold i don't know if you can see but right here there's overturned gravel so that is a red of some sort it's a pretty big area of overturned gravel so it could be salmon i know there are salmon in here too i usually don't salmon fish because it's kind of disgusting you go you go around, you fish, and there's hundreds of people everywhere. There's trash all over the place. You might go see someone catch a salmon, and then they just cut it up, take the skein out, only use the skein, throw the fish back, waste the whole fish. It's, it's ugly, so I don't even associate myself with salmon fishermen. I just can't do it. Now, if I hook into a salmon here, um, that'd be pretty awesome. Just because this is not an area where a bunch of people salmon fish at, so it's not polluted. Oh, there we go, got one. Nice little rainbow, I think. Nice trout. Nice looking fish. Beautiful rainbow. There he goes. Oh, that's awesome. fish. Got another rainbow. It's a wild rainbow. Caught him on a new lure. Brown trout pattern inline bladed lure. There it went. Here we go, got one. This is a brown trout. Little one, but it's still a nice fish. Chunky brown, nice bugger. Got a chunk of weeds with them too.
Yeah, must they must want the gold colored spinner. Cause I was fishing probably for 30 some minutes with silver and then I switched to gold and I started hammering it. Here we go, got a fish. Oh, there he went. Here we go, here's a fish. Nice brown. There we go. Got a decent fish. Good looking brown trout. There we go, got him. Little acrobat. Thinks he's a steelhead. Good trout. Oh, good fish, good trout, oh boy. That's a real nice one. Big, big brown, oh yeah. Oh my goodness, he just came right out and hammered. Oh, he got away. It's too bad, that was a nice one. Probably pushing 17 inches. Shoot. Well, that's too bad. There we go. Got a little bow. This doesn't make up for that brown in the slightest, but it's a fish. Nice wild rainbow trout. We got the adipose fin. Here's a good one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good brown, good brown trout. 
Oh my goodness. Don't want to lose this one. Oh wow, it's a bohemian. Yes. Oh my goodness, look at that guy. Woo. Yes. Probably a 16 inch brown trout right there. Absolute monster. At least for me. Oh yes, look at that thing. Beautiful brown. That right there is why I fish in the fall. They have perfect colors on them. It's their spawning season, I mean. They're beautiful fish. Now I'm pretty certain that was not a lake run brown. Because they, they're pretty big at like 20 inches long. Almost certain that was a resident brown trout. So that was a nice one. Real big, thick brown. Can't beat it. I do prefer fishing for brook trout, but this time of year, all the type one streams that usually hold brook trout, they're closed. So I'm chasing browns, which man, when you run into a fish like that, that's awesome. 